Thanks for tuning back in. This is Amir Aburka from Exploring Excel. You can email me at exploringofficeexcel at gmail.com. This is video number 44, Loop to add items in list box. Let's move on to our sheet. Okay, now this video is a continuation video of the previous video tutorial named list box to add items three methods you can watch this video this is video number 43 it was video number 43 you can download this workbook okay so now this time I'm going to loop if we have an expandable range for example if I add another item like uh, suppose ABC then, then I want a list box to add D up till these many items so how can I do so so first going to the pressing alt f11 to go to the visual basic editor i have just first only created this user form and now this is a list box name list box one now last time i set the property name as row source directly directly to it but now i want the loops to ranges and then i want to see and add the items okay so let's get started i'm going to the visual basics editor then I am just selecting the user form then I don't want to click this is a basic then I want to just select the initialize option oops user form initialize option I don't want this code gets rid of it now in this code I am the particularly writing a code first thing I I will first dim a variable dim I will dim counter I will tell you why I have dimmed this counter counter as integer now counter equals to now what I have dimmed that variable so I will set that variable counter equals to now I will use the application application oops application dot worksheet function dot count a count a and now I'll select the range a is to a or I will just write double quotes a is to a this oops okay now this counter equals to application dot worksheet function dot count a range a to a what does this do now first thing counter as integer it means that it is from 1 2 3 4 5 and so on now counter counter means application dot worksheet function you can also say that set work this workbook dot sheet you can just say to like that also like this workbook this name sheet one if you have many sheets but just now i'm following this convention then i am just doing worksheet function means all the it will reference all these worksheet function like sum min max on you can find count a function it is a worksheet function count blank count if and all but i will use count a version then range range is this full a to a means c basically this full range is a to a means it will say count is it's nine entries so this ninth is the last one so now okay so now i will loop i will use the for for loop because i uh, it is a nice loop for I will just dim i from 1 to last one is c and tr you can do you can also use the do until events also count and i will just write next i so the oops where it came i will write next i okay now all the code I need is between this. The simple code is like I will just say me dot list box one. Me means this user form dot list box one dot add item. Now yes, some of the parentheses like pvarg item pvarg in this. I will just say range and then cell 1 and cell 2 no i will use a cell property cell you can use cells 
Rho index. I know, I know, I know the row. It is C N T R. Then column index is one. That is A column. Dot add item. I mean this will add item. Loop through each and then add an item. Okay. Now this finishes our code. Okay. So let's debug this macro. It got added, but it's only coming A B C. I have made some mistake. Vim uh, counter as application dot worksheet function to counter application dot worksheet function dot count a range a to a i equals to from one to counter then me dot add item dot cell means one comma one then two comma two then three comma three um, to counter. Um, oh, I have not. It's not. It should not be counter. It should be one. Sorry, I, comma counter. I means we are referencing here I, and here it's I. Counter means the last row. You can name it as the last row also. It should be I, comma one. Okay, it's coming. All are the coming. Now, this is what I need. That is counter. Okay, and next time you can just also use like this. Um, if you want if statement, you can use if. I will just do. Um, okay. I will just write one more apple. Another apple. Okay. Now I'm going to the visual basis. I can use an if statement. If if uh, cells i i comma one dot value oops dot if cells i comma one equals to if you want to say apples. Then add items. Oops, I have just forgot. Then add these items. Else, else, and if I have started the if inside the loop, and I will end it inside. Now this also I will just wait a little. Okay. So now this is a looping process. It will see condition if met that. I will just debug this pressing F8. F8, F8, F8. First one is not, so else. Just I will just minimize it. Second one, F8. Second one is not, so third one also not. Fourth one, that is apples. It counted. Then fifth one not, sixth one not, seventh one not. Eighth, ninth, then tenth. It will have, have to add three times the apples, and it added three times the apples. So you can use the this type of property like if statement. You can use a multiple if. You can just change your apples to amai, and I will just add one, two to three amai, amai. Or only two amis, okay, no issue. Then I will just run this code, and there are only two. You can just conditionally set, which you cannot do in the row source property, but you can do in this list box property, like for each from one to n. You can also do use the property name do until use do until loop till loop, or you can use the do while loop do while loop okay so now this was the part of the video then thanks for watching feel free to subscribe and watch more videos on exploring excel have a great day